Two pen pals brought together by a message in a bottle met for the first time today. TV6's Nicole Buckman has the story of how these two women will be linked forever through Lake Michigan. The story of Alice St. James and Missy Manisto's friendship begins in 1974 when Alice's brother Bill Leach threw a message in a bottle into the waves of Lake Michigan. However, the bottle would remain untouched until 1984 when it finally washed ashore in Nama, Michigan. We opened it and read the letter and it was um, real basic. It just said, hi, my name is Bill Leach. I'm 13 years old. I live in Milwaukee. If you find this, please write back. Missy did write back to Bill, and a week later, she received shocking news from Bill's family. Thank you for finding and sending the letter you found in the bottle written by my son, Bill. It meant a great deal to me. You see, Bill died in July of 1983. He was 21 years old. Don't feel sad. He was a delightful, warm, outgoing young man who enjoyed living every day. I'm just sorry he isn't here to know after all this time you found his letter. Alice took this unique opportunity to keep writing Missy, and soon the two became close friends. I just wanted to know all about her, you know. I grew up in a city, so I think I was very curious about where she lived, what it was like, you know, being in a more rural area. The two would continue writing back and forth until 1993, when both lost touch as they grew up. However, Missy came across Alice's name last year on Facebook and immediately reconnected their unique friendship. I knew right away who she was, too. I'm getting goosebumps right now, <laughs> but um, I mean, it was it was great. It was just like my long lost friend came back and um, now after all these years, we finally got the chance to meet. The two took today to catch up after all the years apart, reread their past letters and to give each other gifts to explain how much they each mean to each other. She just holds a special part of history. Both plan to stay connected and continue to visit each other in the future. Nicole Buckman, TV6 News, Marquette.